What's up, y'all? Oh, shit. Long time. Sorry. <laughs> I've just been reading a lot. Working a lot. Surviving a lot. Jamming a lot. Y'all like that music? No one else did it. I felt it needed to be done. Done did it. So, if the Anti-Drug Administration really stood for anti-intoxication, then they wouldn't be owned and financed by alcohol companies and tobacco companies that give you a buzz. I mean, okay, so they're just physically bad for you then? Drugs have bad repercussions physically? Okay, we'll get alcohol poisoning instead and then lung cancer afterwards. Cause you know, it's like they have no justification on listening to their bullshit. And so I've obviously been reading a lot of Joyce lately, so I wanted to read Thomas Pinchon again. I randomly picked up V, his first novel, again from my bookshelf. And the date was 808 2011, uh, 2012 that day, of course. And guess what the date on the book was that I got? The day I purchased it, I, I used to write the date. 808 2011. Tripped out, huh? A year, exactly a year ago. I mean, synchronicity is proof of spirituality to me. Spirituality to me. It's fucking the Aquarius age making God more personal instead of some guy in the clouds, some ethereal quality. That is true, it's still true, but it's still not as advanced a form of religion, I think. We can make a religion out of synchronicity somehow. Just acknowledge deja vus. Acknowledge shit like that. Deja vu is proof of Nietzsche's eternal recurrence. And McKenna's time wave zero is a spiral time. You've lived it before because you're going to live it again. You just are familiar with it. Anyway. Um... Page 210 of Ulysses, of the 1961 corrected edition that I have, motherfucking talks about astrology. It says, read the skies, and it talks about Venus. I mean, wow. Synchronicity once again, huh? And of course, the whole Benjamin Dollard thing, and William Miller, and Nietzsche, all, all, the, all up in that book. And Zarathustra, of course. And Joyce being born <clears throat> the year Nietzsche began Zarathustra during the Venus transit. I guess when I discover Nietzsche, the next Venus transit, 2004. Anyway, it's crazy. Um, but what's really weird is Joyce began reading Nietzsche in 1903, and Mars was in Virgo, Jupiter, Jupiter was in Pisces, and Saturn was in Aquarius. Just like Nietzsche's birth chart. That's a little tripped out, huh? Uranus was in Sag, like mine. But yeah, anyway, James, Joyce used to write some of his letters... He used to end it as James Overman, in reference to Nietzsche. Crazy, huh? But, so, uh, hmm. Anyway, I think there's some shit to it. I think my music is just what it is. I mean, no one's doing it, so someone done did it. And he, that same someone just happens to be into Nietzsche in 2012 and UFOs and whatever, man. I mean, we're supposed to be different kinds of people. We're going to be like a combination of artists. I'm a musician, philosopher, writer, used to be a dancer. Um, I used to do a heel flip on a skateboard. I mean, there's just so much to do. Why limit yourself to one profession? 